Welcome back to Backstage Pass. Uh, with us today is Jerry Riopel. I'm Dan Zalesko, your Backstage Pass correspondent. <laughs> it's always seems so funny to say things like that. This is, I think, one of the first, or probably, uh, it's certainly a rare interview uh, possibility we have here with Jerry. And uh, been coming around to the Valley of the Sun, Phoenix, Arizona, for a number of years in concert and all around the country uh, on occasion. Um, what we're talking about today, Jer, is um, who the hell is Jerry Riopelle? Can you tell me about that? What's a Riopelle? Um, well, I've been making music uh, from my L.A. base for uh, 15 years or so, uh, and uh, it's become popular here in Phoenix, which is one of the reasons I come here a lot. What do you think of the video scene? Do you think that's, that's hurt the business or helped it? No, helped it. I think it's helped it. I think it allows you to get a lot of... Uh, to do a lot of what you have to normally do touring, mm -hmm. you can do it with the, with the right video. You can you can get to a lot of people. Some people think though that that it's hurt the actual live touring business to a degree, and that the, the videos um, say a lot more under those perfect conditions that they can film something in, as opposed to what happens on stage. In other words, when when kids were going to concerts in the 50s, 60s, even 70s before the video explosion took off, there was always that, mysteri that mysteriosity about what somebody looked like on stage or how they moved and the way they were as opposed to the images that can come up in somebody's head. And I've noticed... Oh, yeah, I think I've, it can hurt a lot of I've people. I've noticed to yeah. a certain degree that, you know, that that hasn't really helped. It certainly exposed a lot more artists in a lot more ways than radio ever would have because, let's face it, radio is very picky and mm -hmm. choosy about what they're going to let on for the most part. Uh, but I've noticed in the concert business that's mm -hmm. for the most part is right. Yeah. yeah it, it, oh yeah. No, I think right. It can really it can really hurt some people. Video can really it's like oh no, you shouldn't see this. Per you know. What about the uh, fact of, of the way that women respond to your music? I mean, I've always what kind about of, it? I, 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 I mean, you, there's you, a sexual side to the situation. You know, it's kind of uh, kind of juicy talk. You know, it's kind of naughty music. It's but not, it's, always, it's not really pornographic, but it's double entendre. Yeah, a lot of double entendre. But you never, you never offend the women. You, you really seem to have uh, a great no, deal no, of respect no, no. for them and seem to right. really like them. Well, there's some chauvinist attitudes now and then, you know. But you I know. think there's a certain, a certain amount of, of need for that, just as long as it's, you know, a I little think bit. Women failed. actually like a little bit of that, uh, that uh, the, the power tripping qualities of the masculine sex. Is that what, is that what went into the song, uh, "Beat Me Baby"? I think "Beat Me Baby." Is, Randy Newman wrote "Beat Me Baby." Oh, he okay. wrote it uh, for me specifically, I'm sure, but. Actually, Randy Newman is the author of Beat Me, Baby. Uh, You've got a highly energetic show. I mean, people really, really get into the show a lot and move around the way, you know, that you do, which is sort of odd for uh, a guy who, who is a singer-songwriter. Yeah, your set, your a show hard, is a lot, it's a rock and roll show. It's very I mean, emotional, hard-driving kind of a show. Bob Seger's show, though, is, mm. you know. Uh, he's always been more of a, he's, you know, he's, he's almost hard rock. Straight rock, point. yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. It's not as lyrical, maybe. But well, here's hoping. For a lyric uh, writer, I have a rock show. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Any uh, any any dirt in your past you want to let out right now? No. Something nobody knows about. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. You know, something that, that people. You, would are, you like to see me in my saran wrap costume before we start mm, the show? Okay. I don't know if I would, but I'm sure the <laughs> ladies in the audience would enjoy. Good it. TV. Yeah. Trust me. We're backstage here at the Celebrity Theater in Phoenix, Arizona, waiting for Jerry Riopelle's performance. And uh, after this next commercial break, we're going to show you a little bit of what Jerry Riopelle is about live on stage. Oh, I bet it's good tonight, huh? <laughs> We're gonna do some new songs tonight. This is called Day After Day. It's about it's about um, Arizona becoming beachfront property, <clears throat> which is where I'm putting all my money. You see, um, this is about the earthquake removing Los Angeles. More people come to LA. Shh, don't you tell anybody the whole place. 
is slipping away. Where can we go when there's no San Francisco? Shh, you better get ready to tie up the boat in Idaho. Oh, do you know this swim? You better learn quick, Jim. Oh, they don't know this swim. Better sing the hymn on tuna at the bowl. Find Pele a fresh soul. Ooh, what can you do with a bushel of wet gold? Smoke it day after day. More people come to LA. Shh, don't you tell anybody the whole place is slipping away. Where can we go when there's no San Francisco? Shh, you better get ready to tie up the boat. know this swim, you better learn quick, Jim. Those who don't know this swim, better sing the hymn. Tuna at the bowl, fine fillet of fresh soul. Ooh, what can you do with a bushel of wet gold? Smoking day after day, more people come to L.A. Shh, don't you tell anybody the whole place shaking away. Where can we go when there's no San Francisco? Shh, you better get ready and I'll tie up the boat tonight. Oh, oh day after day, more people come to L.A. Shh, don't you tell anyone in the whole place shaking away. Where can we go when there's no San Francisco? Shh, you better get ready to tie She wanted to fly me. Put on the brakes when she wanted to start. Oh, I cut the rope when she wanted to time me. Now I'm fishing other lines. Skinny women cross my mind. I've been losing too much time. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I might be in hot tomorrow, halfway to my neck. If I gamble around, I can win this time. Walking on water, and I might just stay in the state of mind. Walking on water, till they knock me to my knees. Taking on water, and I don't get paid just for wasting time. Another. I kicked in the door. Oh, when she's bad, she's better. Oh, when she's good, oh, so good. Oh, when she's bad, she's better. That's it. Hey.